Last year in autumn, I bought these beautiful yellow roses, the plant anyway, from my local garden center. I bought three plants and pretty much on each plant, there's about four flowers that blossomed this spring. But sadly, as you can see, the petals have fallen off the flowers that blossomed early. But it's not over yet. I can see some new buds appearing. So to give the new buds more chance, we need to deadhead the roses. So that's pretty much just removing the old roses from just under where the seed pods are generating. That this will make the energy go into the other flowers that are about to blossom and to encourage new growth. This branch at the bottom has a flower on it. It was almost broken apart. It was connected by a very small thread of its stem. And I thought it has a bud on it, I'll leave it. And it seems to have flowered perfectly. Roses appear to be a very hardy plant that can survive on some hard conditions. Well, I've kept this in the buckets in the rear garden and can move them location to location. But in my front garden, I have different kinds of roses. And here I have two different roses. One's a bush grows straight up about three, four feet tall. And the other one, the vines grow long and wild. Usually, as I've seen, you have climbing rows, ramming rows, and the ones that form a small bush. But this one, it forms a, quite a large bush. It's vine, it's almost vine-like, I keep saying vine. Grows long, you pin it to the ground, and small branches appear with flowers on it. And this branch seems to be fallen on the other rose bush, the orange-looking one. These two rose plants I've had for quite a few years. The yellow ones in the back I bought last autumn, as I said. And each one is different. This red one starts flowering quite early and flowers late into the season. And out of all the rose bushes, I believe it is a ramming rose, although I'm not too sure. The red one seems to flower in abundance thank you for watching bye bye